yep, that's him. It's a better one anyway. <laughs> like this? Yes, sir. Oh! Woo! There you go, Bubba. That's a better, that's a better fish. Yes, sir. Hi, Ryan Casey here from Show Me Catfish and Trophy Guide Service to talk to you a little bit about drifting and fishing on the Mississippi River. I've, I've been doing this fishing for a little over six years full-time guiding and uh, one of the most effective techniques that I found, uh, especially during the post-spawn and uh, at the tail end of the spawn, it is walking baits or back bouncing. And um, that's a way that you control and slow your drift and keep that bait in constant contact with the bottom and keep it in that fish's strike zone. Uh, the, more, the more area you cover, uh, the, more, the more apt you are to get into some active fish. So what you want to do when your back bounces is you want to keep, you want to get a good, light, um, highly sensitive rod. See our rig right here and the skipjack. We are using cut skipjack. On a, is that a 10 alt? 8 alt. 8 alt double action? Yep. Team catfish hook, five ounces of weight. And the idea, the idea is to drop it off in there. I've got a line counter on these 6500s. And you feel the bottom. And once you feel bottom, I like using an open bale because then that way I can just kind of, as, as the line kind of threads out, then I can kind of just keep my thumb on it and raising it up. Like I said, these are the Abu Garcia 6500 line counters. And the rods that, actually, that, I don't think they were made for catfishing, but I sent a couple to Ryan for him to start testing. And these are the Abu Garcia Volatile. These are eight foot, medium heavy and they've been working for you they're, they're real lightweight got yeah. a good sensitive tip and you need that in order to feel the bottom we've caught some really big fish on them too What you're doing is you're taking um, that weight and you're just kind of let feel the bottom lift it up and then come down and feel the bottom again and you want to be able to feel everything that's going on you want to be able to hop it up and over rocks and, and through the trees and, and um, you know keep it keep it in the strike zone as long as you can with a natural presentation going down the river and the better you're able to do that with more practice because it's not something that most people can just pick up and do uh, it takes practice don't get frustrated you're going to lose some tackle know that going into it start off with some areas that don't have as much structure maybe some mud bottoms or some some bottoms that have some contour um, you know boat control is key and um, you know start off in areas you're not going to just beat your head up against the wall but uh, you know keep in contact with that bottom like I said don't get frustrated you're going to lose some tackle but you're also going to catch some fish and once you get it to where you can you know keep in contact and, and, and feel that fish bite there's there's no going back it's a pretty big rush Something just hit it, man. Well, reel down. Set the hook. You think you might be there? Yeah, I think you might be. <laughs> but I got him, Scott. I got him. Wait a minute. 